Hello, in this session of the Query Manager tutorials, we'll refresh on adding and deleting fields, and we'll also expand on the use of criteria by adding multiple criteria and demonstrating the use of a logical AND and OR and the how and why of grouping criteria for a more effective data search. We'll continue where we left off in our last session using Lens Query Example 3. Let's run it to refresh what our results look like. Since our query results are centered on the USA employees, we can choose to eliminate the country heading. To do this in the Fields tab, we can delete the country field name. But take note that the criteria continues to use country in the expression even though the country field is not selected. Also in the Fields tab, we'll open up the Edit Field Ordering and we'll uncheck the box descending for the field name state. So states are now listed in ascending order. Select OK and let's run the query. Now in the results we see that there's incorrect data entered for city with country names entered and some rows are blank as there is no state listed. Additionally we see that there are some APOs in the city field. We'll remove those data rows with the criteria expression the state not equal to blank. We'll run again and see some APOs that's an acronym for Army Post Office and we'll remove those APOs with the criteria city not equal to APO. Next we'll add a field marital status and run to show the results. Select the query tab and find marital and check it and run the query. We see that there's a single character code to describe the status that may or may not be obvious. Let's go to the Fields tab and notice the XLAT column has an N. Let's edit this field and take a look. Notice this field has a translate value where the default is N for none. And note, we have the option to choose short or long to view or more descriptive value. Let's select long and run the results. The marital status field now has translated that single character code to its full long description. Now let's add criteria from the criteria tab and select the record marital status. We'll define the criteria expression to be marital status not equal to. In expression 2 we can select the lookup to see the values table for the field values. We'll select the constant M for married, select OK, and we'll run the results to see all employees who are not married. Let's add another criteria to list all employees not equal to married who only live in the state of Arkansas. Notice there's not a constant value available for this field. Here we'll manually enter AR and run to see that there are nine results for Arkansas. Now let's add another state. We'll add Oklahoma with the expectation of seeing results for both Arkansas and Oklahoma. However, after we run, we see that no matching values were found. Let's go back to the Criteria tab and look at the logic. Notice that when there are multiple criteria, a logical field will contain logical operators which you may use to relate multiple criteria in specific ways. When you specify two or more selection criteria for a query, you must tell PeopleSoft Query how to coordinate the different criteria. When you link two criteria with a logical AND, a row must meet the first and second criterion for PeopleSoft Query to return it. When you link two criteria with the logical OR, a row must meet the first or second criterion, but not necessarily both. 
So if we change the logical operator to OR for Oklahoma, our results would be as expected for both states if the marital status applies. Now we have 51 results, however we're seeing employees that are married in Oklahoma. That's not what we want. When your query includes multiple criteria, PeopleSoft Query checks the criteria according to the rules of logic. It evaluates criteria that are linked by ands before those that are linked by ors. When all the criteria are linked by ands, this order always returns the correct results. But if you include one or more ors, the results may not always be what you want. Our results are incorrect because PeopleSoft Query evaluates criteria in the order of appearance. It looks for rows where the employee is not married and where the state is Arkansas or rows where the state is Oklahoma. What we really want PeopleSoft Query to search for are rows where the state is Arkansas or Oklahoma and where the marital status is not married. That is, you want PeopleSoft Query to evaluate the OR before the AND. To accomplish this task, we need to add a parenthesis to the list of criteria. When a list of criteria includes parentheses, PeopleSoft Query first evaluates the criteria inside the parentheses before the criteria outside the parentheses. This is what we call group criteria. So, in order to add parentheses in the criteria, select the group criteria button and type in a left parentheses prior to the expression 1 for state equal AR and type a right parentheses after expression 2 for state equal OK for Oklahoma. And let's select the OK button and notice the parens can now be viewed for the criteria. Let's take a quick look at the SQL. So now we know the expression in the parens will be evaluated first within the WHERE clause. So we'll get results for only U.S. employees only in either Arkansas or Oklahoma and where the marital status marrieds are removed. Let's run and now we see that we have 36 rows of data for employees living in those two states whose marital status is anything except married. We can now be confident we have the correct results. In summary, the order of processing criteria is defined by these rules. First, the criteria with enclosed parenthesis, followed by any NOT criteria used, then followed by the AND criteria used, and finally followed by the OR criteria if used. We now know the retrieval of the requested data is always evaluated by PeopleSoft Query in that logical order followed by the order listed. Also note that there is a reorder criteria function but is used primarily to reorder rows of criteria without deleting and re-entering existing criteria. Now we'll remove the marital status and states criteria keeping country equal to USA, the state not equal to blank, and the city not equal to APO. And we'll also remove the field marital status in the fields tab and select run. Now let's add another state criteria using a condition type in list for selecting multiple states. In the edit criteria properties expression 1 will be the field state, the condition type will be in list and expression 2 will create list members by selecting the lookup icon. In the edit list view we will need to select the add value button for each entry. In this case we'll add Michigan MI and we'll select add value again for Wisconsin WI and select OK. Notice the criteria expression state in list MI and WI for Michigan and Wisconsin. Let's select OK. In the criteria tab, we see the new expression. Let's run and view the results. So you can see where the condition type in list 
would be useful for multiple field criteria. Here in our case, we can filter or narrow down a list of states with the use of inList. However, the downside of this is that we would have to modify the criteria each time we need to list different states or whatever data we need to filter. A better approach is to create a prompt. This query manager feature allows us to selectively choose the data based on the value provided when running the query. In our next session, we'll cover the details for adding prompts with the prompt tables and with no table edits. Before we log out, let's save the changes for our next session. That's it. Thank you for watching.